Hi everyone, I'm Keith Warren, and welcome to Hunting and Outdoor Adventures. This week we're off to the alligator capital of Texas to visit the Gator Fest. We'll be in a little town called Anahuac, and then we're off to Angleton, Texas to see if we can catch some of those alligators ourselves. So stick around. Adventures with Keith Warren, brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, Bushland Camouflage, your Texas Dodge truck dealers, Night and Hail Game Calls, Miller High Life and your Texas Miller Beer Distributors, Motorola, Moultrie Feeders, Remington Arms and Ammunition, Simmons Optics, Strong Built Deer Stands, and White Shooting Systems. This is a program about hunting. As such, it contains scenes which may not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my name is Laura Ferguson. If you want to have a good time and eat lots of gator, then come on down to Texas Gator Fest. Every year at the beginning of gator season, folks from all over come to Anahuac, Texas to celebrate Gator Fest. Texas Gator Fest is in its sixth year here in Anahuac, the alligator capital of Texas. Um, we have a wide variety of things for the family to do. We have 26 different food booths and of course the main food item is alligator and it's done in a many, many, many ways. Fried, barbecued, um, an etouffee, you can get gator balls. We have lots for the little kids to do with the carnival. Uh, we call it our PTA Gator Den. We have three stages of entertainment. Zydeco, rock and roll, country and western. We have a whole stage of entertainment that's geared just for the children. We have the Gator Bait Ski Team here from Corpus Christi that does a water ski show out in the channel. We have helicopter rides so you can get a bird's eye view of this area. And we have airboat rides that takes you on an exhilarating ride up the mouth of the Trinity River and the headwaters of Trinity Bay. that airboat ride, but that's not the big attraction here in Anahuac. The premier event at the Texas Gator Fest is called the Great Texas Alligator Roundup. Alligator hunters come in with their catch of the day and they compete for prizes up to $2,000 for the longest alligator brought in, harvested in Texas. And we have an hourly winner of $100 for the longest gator of the hour, plus an overall longest Chambers County alligator. I brought in three alligators, uh, a large female uh, with part of her tail missing, measuring uh, about nine and a half foot, a uh, large male uh, measuring a little over ten foot, and another smaller male measuring about seven foot. Uh, what I do, I use chicken for bait on a, about a 16 hook, uh, take it out for about two days and let it spoil and stuff, get smelling real good, and I hang it over the water in a pole. and. Uh, <clears throat> about three to four foot above water, depending on what size alligator you want to catch. Uh, and then usually it's hanging in late in the afternoon and go back in the morning and check your line and hopefully you'll have an alligator on it. 
I'm out here at Angleton, Texas, and we're at Berry Farms. Now, Berry Farms is, has a private fishing lake out here, has a bunch of alligators. I'm with Hector Ramirez. Hector is my taxidermist out of San Antonio. He's always wanted to get an alligator. And every time I come fishing out here at Berry Farms, I see a bunch of alligators. Now, there's supposedly one that's bigger than my truck that's back here in this slough. So what we're going to do, we have our chicken. We have all the stuff that we need to go back here and set up a line. We're going to go back. We're going to sneak in this area, and we're going to set up, and then we're going to let it stay out all night long, come back in the morning, and see if we can get a big gator. First off, when we go back here, we want to see if we can find any alligator sign. What does the slough look like, or what, am I, what are we supposed to look for? Basically what it is, it's an area where the alligators just kind of slide down into the waters, and they, when they do that, they create a lot of broken grass, and there's some mud along the edge. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, this is it. This is it. Hold on. I don't see a slide, but this area right here looks really good, and we have water out there, a lot of low grass, so if we come back in the morning and we actually the, and we have an alligator on, we can see him down in there. The worst thing that we can do, I think, is have an alligator on and not be able to tell where he is. Yeah, we want to know where he's at. <laughs> okay, I'll crawl down there and tie off to that that little bush down there, and then we'll get out and put our bait up. Let me get one of these lines. There you go. Okay, yeah. let me show you what we're using here. This is a number 14 size single hook, and it's on the end of about a two foot piece of steel cable leader. And most people would think that's a shark hook. Well, I guess you can catch shark on that or anything else really big offshore, but we are gonna catch an alligator on that. And what we have tied to it is 50 feet of ski rope. This is just quarter inch ski rope. That's all you need. And tie a good knot to the leader and make sure we tie a good knot to the tree we're gonna tie this thing off to. That way, that tree is the anchor. When that alligator is gonna come over tonight and he's gonna bite that chicken, he's gonna get it way down, he's gonna hook himself, and he's gonna to try to get off, but he's gonna be fighting that tree all night long. So all we need to do tomorrow morning is kinda of sneak in, check that tree, and then sneak up, pull him in, and get him. Need to be real careful for <laughs> any kind of critters down here. Normally, if they're down here, they're going to move off when they hear us. Okay, Hector, you can start cutting that chicken up. Go ahead and get that working, and I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. And that way we can get this one set, get our other one set right before dark, and get out of here. Uh, how many pieces do you want me to cut this into? Cut it in two pieces. Just cut it straight down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and tie it off to this big tree. Yeah, if we find a good tree like this, there's no way even a big 13 or 14 foot gator is going to be able to move a tree like this. It'll be real easy tomorrow morning for us to see if we have one on here or not. Yeah, there you go. Hand me a piece of chicken. Ooh. Now, if I was a big old alligator, that's what I'd want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this through several different times. Alligators feed on anything out here they can get in their mouths, but that big old piece of chicken right there with that hook covered up, that right there is a ticket, I have a feeling. I want to suspend the bait about 18, 12 to 18 inches up, and the reason why is if you, if you leave it down low to the water, the little alligators can get it, but if you put it up high off the water, it takes a big alligator to reach up that high up to grab the bait. How'd you find out about this technique? I went on an alligator hunt about six years ago and got pretty lucky. I got five alligators and five baits. And this is exactly the way we did it. Now the thing is, we just have to make sure that this bait doesn't drag, doesn't get down on the water, see? That bait's hanging about uh, 12 to 14 inches right off the water. It's gonna take a pretty big alligator to come up and grab that bait. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and set up our other baits and head in for the evening. When hunting and outdoor adventures continues, we're gonna find out just how effective baiting for alligators can be. Stay with us. I guarantee there's one on there. Look how that rope is tight. Woo-wee! All right, Hector. Okay. <laughs> there's one on there. Now, let me, let me explain what we have here. We drove 
a long metal rod in the ground here. Now the ground is real soft because it's on a levee right next to the lake out here at Berry Farms. Now we drove this long metal rod in there as an anchor and we have 50 foot of line right here. We now Hector watch I'm going to pick this line up and, and is that thing loaded? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just just watch it because you've got the good end of this job. I've got the bad end. Okay. There's an alligator on here and that line is tight. Okay. So what we're going to do I'm going to pull this thing in real slowly. Okay. See if we can get it. I see the alligator. Can you, can you see? I see its head okay, right okay, there. Okay. Okay, okay Hector, this. look. Okay, you see its head right there? I see his eyes right there. I can shoot right between his eyes right there. Okay, that, that's what you're supposed to do. Wait, okay. but you need to shoot a little bit behind his eyes. His yeah. brain is right behind yeah. his eyes. See, he's hung up in the cattails here, and we may have to shoot him while he's in the water and then go down in the water and get it. That's okay. Golly! Hooey! Okay, come on, baby. Oh man, look at the reeds moving. That's a big gator. Okay, Hector, that, that is a mad alligator. You better have that thing ready. Ugh. Come on up here. You got that thing on fire? Yeah, I got him, don't worry. Come okay. on. Perfect, good job. <laughs> okay, get him up here out of the the water. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Now look at that. Oh yeah. He's pretty well. Oh yeah, he he won't hurt anybody anymore. Look at that. Yes, sir. Hector, this is a absolute beautiful, beautiful alligator. Congratulations. Thank you. You did a good job. Now, let me show you. Let's roll this thing over underneath. Now for those of you at home that are wondering on a say a pair of boots or an alligator skin belt or whatever, this our purse. This right here is a part of the alligator that they use. If you take a look underneath the legs, you'll notice the small scale pattern. And that small scale pattern is what is in a lot of the, say, smaller things that are made out of alligator skin, like wallets and coin purses and things. And also, they say the most valuable part of the alligator is right here, right underneath the oh, mouth. Look at that skin. Yeah, see how tight the scale pattern is? Yeah, see that? That's beautiful. Now the part I'm interested in is the tail. Uh, <laughs> that's what we, From here back to here is absolutely some of the finest eating there is. See, the tail gives the alligator a tremendous amount of power. Look at that. That's Waller. Mm -hmm. Just like a big old rattlesnake. It's a big reptile in old Walla even after it's dead. But the tail gives a lot of power going through the water. And that's the best part to eat right there. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is get it tagged right away. And then we'll load it up in the truck. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome. We'll load it up in the truck and uh, then we'll get you working on it. I'm going to get myself a gator or he's going to get me after this. This hunting and outdoor adventures tip of the week is brought to you by Miller High Life and your Texas Miller Beer distributors. If you're not fortunate enough to have a tax drums come along with you, and you're not near around a, a store where they sell quite a bit of ice so you can ice them down to get them home. I'm gonna show you how to field dress them. This way you can go ahead and take them to your taxidermist already skinned out and ready to go. We start off here with a back foot. You start off with a middle toe. Start here, go down the center of the white pattern. Don't veer off to the black pattern. You continue here to the middle. And then from here, you go all the way to the other side following the, the, white pa the, the center of the white pattern all the way to his toes. From here, you go back here, you go to the center of the gator, all the way up to his jaw. And from there, you go just the opposite direction, you go all the way to the center of his tail, all the way back there. And all you do is just start skinning them out, grab one piece and just keep on going, just keep on taking it. It's gonna take you an hour, hour and a half, but better than having your gator spoil and then your taxidermist telling you there ain't nothing he can do about it. As you can see, we've gotten pretty far along with uh, skinning out the uh, gator here. We started on the left side and right side, and we've gotten all his feet. Now we're getting to the tail. Best thing to do is don't just get the knife and go down the center here, because you're gonna you're gonna cut the scales. Best thing to do is follow the scales, go to the left, follow the scale, go to the left, 
follow the scale all the way down. From here down, it's pretty well straight, but up here it got some irregular pattern. And what we do, what we did was just skin them out this way, the left side, the right side, and you got yourself lots of meat there. And this is what a lot of people really want on the alligator. This is the only thing you're probably gonna wanna eat. This one here, fixed right and barbecued, you're gonna enjoy it. What happened here is we put too much line out, and what he's done, he's come through here, and you can see where he's wallered all out through here trying to get off, and he's, he's tangled up underneath here. So they're on the other side trying to get him to come up. Going after alligators, you don't want to do this alone. You need to have a, you need to have at least a couple of hands, huh? John, you see some, John here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. I see his head, I think. Yeah, I see his head. No. No, I thought it was his head, but it's not. Oh! <laughs> Is he right there? Maybe I need to try to find the rope at the other end. Let's... You got your pole? You can... Look at the end of this pole where that alligator bit, Mackie. Look at that. Look at that. Let me see that. We had a, way too much rope out on this. Oh! He bites you, huh? Did he bite you? No. <laughs> he spoke to me. He's on this side of the You want to really get a good show? Get up top in the water. I'm not getting in the water. I don't want that good a show. Hector, you poke over there. I got it. Ooh, what was that? I heard first some water moving. This is where you really need to practice gun safety. Notice the way I have this thing pointing? Away from everybody. Get on top of the cheek. Oh, you see him moving out there? Oh, that stick. Where? Out there by that post. There he is, there he is. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Put yeah, he's dead. That's a beautiful, beautiful animal. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get underneath him and kind of hoist up. If y'all wind up, pull him up. Okay, so you can kind of double join it. Okay. Oh. Pull it up. Come on, a little more. There we go. Alligator. Well, Mackie, I'd like to thank you for taking us on a great gator hunt. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, Colton, can you tell Mackie thank you? Thank you. <laughs> you shake his hand. Shake oh. his hand. No. You have to come back next year and get you another one, Colton. Shake, shake his hand. My hand. Come on. <laughs> okay. It's been an exciting trip. Man. If y'all want some more information on the fishing at at Berry Lakes. Go ahead and give them a call. They've got some of the best fishing lakes in the world. Right here out of Angleton, Texas. This is a good alligator. Hunting and Outdoor Adventures with Keith Warren has been brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, Bushland Camouflage, your Texas Dodge truck dealers, Night and Hail Game Calls, Miller High Life and your Texas Miller Beer Distributors, Motorola, Moultrie Feeders, Remington Arms and Ammunition, Simmons Optics, Strong Built Deer Stands, and White Shooting Systems. If you want to have a good time, come on out to the Texas campus. Okay, do it again. Just take a deep breath and settle down. Hi, my name is Courtney Fabian. If you want to have a good time, come on out to the Texas campus. Do it again. Just to kind, of, kind of smile and lighten up. Thank you. You did good. Texas Taxidermy Studio in San Antonio is the official taxidermist of hunting and outdoor adventures. Call Hector Ramirez of Texas Taxidermy Studio at area code 210-923-6691 or stop by 1510 West South Cross.
If you have questions or comments about hunting and outdoor adventures, we'd like to hear from you. Drop us a line at P.O. Box 310601, New Braunfels, Texas, 78131.